can you break us down what that study entailed? I believe it was the Canatrol versus the traditional 60-60 method. There was, I think, 16% higher terpene content in mm-hmm. the Canatrol drying. Can you talk to us about that? Yeah, so that that was first stab at, you know, really oh. trying to understand um, their unit and the flower it creates and, and that sort of thing. And so, you know, first stab as well, let's dry and cure at, you know, the two different methods, traditional and, and the Canatrol system. And let's test what happens. And the problem they encountered and uh, problems we've seen other companies encounter when testing terpenes is that if you don't have your own internal lab, there can be a lot of problems. Um, and so, you know, you think about a, a dried flower, it's got 2%, 4%, whatever it may be, uh, um, by dry weight of terpenes, which is you know, that's a small number. If we're looking at 100%, 2% is very small. Um, and so if we're mailing samples, even if you overnight it with ice, something's going to happen. And so any of effect that could happen during transit, or even if it's just being drove somewhere, anything within transit is going to affect the terpene levels. The other thing to think about is, you know, there's lots of great labs out there, but there's some that'll grab your samples and maybe treatment one sits on the counter for an hour, maybe treatment two doesn't. Um, and so if we're looking at getting true results on just 2%, um, that can cause a lot of problems, a lot of skewed errors. And so the way we overcame that is that uh, we work with a lab, Kacha, and I told them, you know, I want to do the extraction at my lab and then I want to send you the liquid because the li- the solvent the solvent's not going to lose terpenes it's going to be true to what exactly it was the second I pull it from whatever treatment is in um, and so that's what we send to the lab those are tested um, and so we can have very accurate results and then of course have duplicates to uh, to make sure there's no off off problems so that's how we did the terpene testing and that's the only thing that made me feel comfortable to do terpene testing because it's so tricky um but yeah so getting results back from seven days traditionally drying and seven days in the canatrol that's the results we got. Um, the other thing that you got to be super careful about and, and ask questions um, when you're looking at any study like this is, well, what was what was the water content? Because that can also skew the numbers. So, for example, if in the Canatrol it's a perfect 0.61 water activity and in traditional drying, uh, let's say it went down to 0.58, you know, that might not seem like a lot, but in water weight, that will certainly, certainly skew the results. So we made sure we had all of those bases covered to where we're truly just looking at uh, the terpenes that the plant produced um, compared to one to the other. And so that's the results we got was 13% um, across the board terpenes. Um, each each individual terpene, there was some you know, skewed, but overall that certainly was the result. Okay, now is there a like a white paper that folks can reference and and read more deeply into it? Is it was it peer reviewed or anything? We're going to duplicate it, um, and so we had we had reps within the study, but we want to duplicate it again before okay. the final white paper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good to have a, a couple reps like that, just because you never know what could have went wrong along the way, and this is how you catch any problems that you may have. Exactly. Yeah, that's one thing I mentioned and. Uh, handful of videos now is science is repeatable. You need to be able to take that and repeat it over and over and over again in order to, for it to be fact. Exactly. One study isn't just fact, right? One study could say anything. It could be wrong. It could have, there could have been something that went wrong with it. And then it might, another study might come out and it, it's not repeated results. Right. So yeah, I think you're, you're doing your due diligence, doing things right in regards to making sure that it can be replicated and then, uh, and then going from there. So I'm looking forward to, to reading the final paper. Yeah, yeah, no, it was it was great results. I was I was impressed. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code Mr. Grow at fifteen to save on any of their products.